I'll say, I just s s heard you say something, and I noticed your chest doing this. Can you tell me specifically what is going on for you and what you think about that? They often didn't even notice it. They're so used to their pattern of incongruence that they don't notice it. People who <clears throat> are in a lot of pain and yet smile mm -hmm. through it, it's incongruence. It's a defense, powerful defense, useful defense, maybe no longer. So it's a matter of timing. The submodalities of incongruence. Um, often incongruence will show up in that they feel one way, but they have a vision of something else. So it can be in those different submodalities. If you can pick that out, you can use questioning to help them become aware of it and help you pace it. Strategies. Now, strategies are all of these things in a sequence, are they not? Sequential. So how they do it. I'm really excited to be here. OK, let's go do this. That is a strategy, OK? So all of this is useful when we, we establish that there is an incongruity in ourselves, in two people, in a group of people. We can use what we've learned about outcome specification to go from position to intention and that way help them come to an agreement that satisfies and honors both parts of the situation. And that's what you're going to learn to do.